Hey y'all, hope you're doing good out there. All right, just wanna do a quick update video with the SIG 1911X. So uh, if you seen my first video, it was real quick for first initial impressions. So with the price going up in 45, uh, yeah, I still haven't got over 500 rounds down this thing, uh, only about 300, uh, but in that 300 had three failures to feed so far. Now, two of those failures to feed may have been on me when I was uh, trying to get this uh, red dot zeroed in and uh, and I wasn't holding it you know as securely as I normally would when sand and presenting uh, I was just trying to do a light trigger pull as possible not to interfere with any type of shaking or anything like that and anyway so I got two failure to feeds on the last round of these six supplied uh, eight round Metgar magazines. And don't worry guys, these are just snap caps that are in here. The same isn't loaded. All right, so anyways, with that being said, um, what rounds have I put through this? Uh, Hornady, uh, Critical Duty, and then, uh, and it was just a few of those guys. These things are freaking expensive, but they have fed. And then uh, some Aguila, uh, 230 grain, and then also Blazer Brass, 230 grain. And don't ask me which ones had the failure to fire out of uh, Aguila from the first time or Blazer Brass. All I know is the second uh, time when I was trying to get this thing zeroed in, it was Blazer Brass that I had uh, two failure to, to uh, feed. Like I said, ammo, eh, probably not. Probably me just left person it. But anyways, uh, let's get on more to the optics. So this is the Romeo X Compact. Um, this goes directly on like this gun was milled out specifically for this optic. Now, of course, my camera is not picking up uh, the full definition of the dot. It is a circle dot. Uh, you can view online and see what all that looks like. But anyways, um, I don't have any issues with the red dot itself. Uh, yes, it does have a little bit of a blue hue or tint to it, but let me tell you, I was shooting this in a little bit of a darker location. It was an indoor gun range, and I did not have any issues whatsoever uh, with the tent. It's not that dark, so uh, don't let that detract uh, from, from getting it if you're interested. So uh, when it comes to the battery cap, too easy. Uh, side mounted right there, as you guys have already uh, probably could tell. Now, <clears throat> I will say this, what comes in the box with it, Got a bunch of different other screws and, and hex keys and our uh, hex keys, but these other types right here. Anyways, uh, star star looking ones. Uh, anyways, the name escapes me right now. But this thing takes the smallest little Allen wrench thing. Uh, I wish they did this kind of uh, like Hollison did with their. <clears throat> where you could use like a really small flathead, you know, uh, or, you know, makeshift. Uh, with this, you absolutely have to use that uh, really small star key. And let me tell you, good luck trying to find these. You can find bits this small, but they are, but they are not something you can just get out of Walmart usually. Um, of course, you can go to a hard to wear store, so please don't lose this. Now, <clears throat> also, uh, the screws that uh, mount this optic to the 1911X. They do not come in this packaging. Uh, me and my local gunsmith, or not gunsmith, but uh, uh, gun shop dealer uh, tried. And yeah, nothing, nothing in this packet fits for the 1911X. But don't worry, if you have a 1911X, guess what? SIG supplies them in the case for the 1911X. So if you want to take your regular cover off there's other screws that it comes with that have it looks like some type of like red loctite on there uh, and you just uh, use those but here's the problem do not trust that uh, that red loctite or whatever it is uh, because we tighten these down everything good to go and as soon as I thought I had a good zero then I was uh, going further out to confirm it this thing started going all over the place. And it happened that the the uh, uh, screws started coming unloose. So with that being said, use some blue Loctite on it, tighten it down extra good, 
and then you should be good to go. Uh, but other than that, guys, yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick update with this. Uh, once I get this saying re-loctited, re-zero, then I'll do some more shooting uh, videos with it and uh, more impressions. But anyways, uh, yeah, so if y'all have the 1911X or the uh, uh, Romeo X compact site, you want to add any more uh, information in the comments, please do so. Or if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, either myself or I'm sure uh, one of the other knowledgeable uh, gun owners here on YouTube may be able to assist with that. But anyways, just want to give you guys a quick update. And uh, just another video to marvel over if you're looking at getting this gun. All right, you take it easy.